McCormick, thank you for joining us on TV Insider to talk about your holiday plans. And we all know you from the classic sitcom, The Brady Bunch. But more recently, you did a very Brady renovation on HGTV with your fellow cast members. And you must have gotten the home renovation bug because now you're doing a new show, Frozen in Time, which is a home makeover show, launching January 4th on Discovery+. Plus. Could you tell us a little bit about that show? This show that we're doing, Frozen in Time, we are going into homes that are frozen in time from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and we are making them fresh and redoing them, but we're keeping the best of those time periods in the house. And I'm telling you, I'm having the best time doing this show. Every time we walk into one of these for the first time, it's, it's amazing what we're seeing. This year, more than ever, home for the holidays is extremely important. It's kind of taken on a new meaning this year. So what, what are you doing to celebrate the holidays this year? Well, honestly, you know, it's, it's I have to say, it's a really hard year. Um, I'm separated right now from my brother who um, has intellectual disabilities. He's in a home and... Um, that's really hard. My daughter is out of the country with her husband and that's really hard. And I have family over on Maui, so we're all separated. And, um, so it's just my husband and I, which we've never had a Christmas where it's just us. And, you know, we're all really kind of on lockdown. Um, so it's very challenging. Um, one thing that's been really, really great for my husband and I is getting outside, getting fresh air um and and being together in nature and and finding inspiration in that i've been baking baking is bringing me joy right now <laughs> i just made a batch of my cookies and um what you kind know, of cookies um they are gluten free dark chocolate macadamia nut, and they're really tasty. Well, another thing I know a lot of people are doing is they're turning to their old favorite classic holiday movies to make themselves feel better. Do you have a favorite holiday movie that you and your husband will be watching this year? Um, well, I think one of my all-time favorite holiday movies um, is Home Alone. I love that movie. I love the cast. And it just makes me laugh so hard I cry. And that feels really good. Um, I love It's a Wonderful Life. You know, I mean, those end scenes just, you know, are really touching. Now, do you have a favorite TV moment from 2020? Have you had time? A lot of us have been spending a lot more time watching television than we have in previous years. Do you have a favorite TV moment from 2020? Um, yes. Well, so I'd have to say my favorite TV moment, and I don't know if this was like, well, I actually did hear about it, was I have to say when the, um, a very Brady renovation was nominated for an Emmy. Um, we had never ever been nominated for anything. And it was just a really sweet moment, I think, for myself and the cast just to be acknowledged. Yeah. So are you binging any shows? Is there yes. Any- yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my husband and I, a friend of his told him to watch a show. And I heard what the theme was and I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm telling you, it has really made this year a beautiful year for me. I've gotten so much from this show. It's called Ted Lasso. And Right now, more than ever, we are so divided as a country. And Ted Lasso, I love him. The actors are so amazing. The characters, the writing, it's just a really good, feel-good show. It's such an amazing show. So that made me so happy. And also Queen's Gamut, Um, wow. Well, looking ahead to next year, which we all hope will be better, what are you wishing for in 2021? Um, I'm wishing that COVID goes away and, and, and never comes back. Um, you know, that no more people are getting sick 
and losing loved ones. You know, I'm hoping for peace, peace and love, you know, as John Lennon would say, just, you know, those simple, simple things for everyone. Well, those are wonderful wishes for everyone. And I, I really thank you for, for spending some time with TV Insider and talking about your holiday plans and telling us about your new show, which is something we are all looking forward to in 2021. Thank you. Thank so, you. Me too.